Hey, this is Bernie here in Strathmore, my hometown where I live in this celebrated life of today, living today for today and working on all the causes I'm supposed to be working on in my company, CCI group. And one of the things in my land development group entity, BMAC, Land Developments, and we're looking at, we've got uh, plans for subsidized housing for uh, accommodating you know poorer people the lesser haves in society and then we've got a structure in place to develop land i'm going to get this piece right here in strathmore it's uh in behind strathmore lakes on the on the east side of town on the way up to and i'll show you here on the way up to uh, the golf course and the executive homes up on the cul-de-sac on the north end of town called strath haven community and those particular homes, Strath Haven Estates. So you can see the corner of the golf course over there, and in between the trees, you can see the uh, large estate homes. And then uh, over there, we got the highway. That's uh, your Wheatland Trail, I should say, rather. It comes in by A and W, and then uh, works its way to the north end of town up to Crystal Ridge. So anyways, we're looking, I'm going to get this piece of property here and the plan would be we're going to build a cul-de-sac of an executive homes, the million dollar up ones. And that don't take much nowadays, does it? A good home. The average Canadian uh, house price for a family, a moderate house is 488000 That's current prices in 2020. So uh, it don't take much, but... Uh, you know, you're up over a million executives want to accommodate living in a little higher lifestyle, so that's fine. So we're going to do that, and uh, it's going to be called Monterey Estates. And we'd even like to get a dock put in over on Strathmore Lakes and call that Monteblin Dock, where people could dive off if they want into the waters. But uh, that's a whole other story. I've got... Uh, you know, I, I don't have much to complain about. I've been in Strathmore seven years. I like it here. There's a lot of good things this community has to offer. There's only probably seven or eight things I'd change. And, uh, but I'll tell you what I like. First of all, we're close to Calgary. In the greater hub, there's probably a half a dozen smaller cities or big towns. And uh, we uh, live in one of them out here in Strathmore. And we're about 14,000 people. We're about a 20 minute commute to the uh, east side boundaries of Calgary with Chestermere in between us. And then you've got, of course, High River and Okotoks on the south, Cochrane over on the uh, west, and Airdrie to the north. So, you know, it's a good hub around the city of Calgary. And, and our community is uh, local people deal within a regional hub here as well in a lot of the businesses but when you need something you can't get here Calgary's just you know skip jump away and lots of people commute to work especially to the east side industrial areas in both the south and north ends but uh, you know what I like um, our closeness you know if you're uh, one of those Sunday drive out of the city people you should hop on your Harley or your family in your car whatever you know, you should think about touring this way as well as the mountains. We've got a lot to offer out here, and I know many of you do. I see it, you know, on your way out to Drumheller to the Badlands uh, Dinosaur Cafe place or whatever, and uh, stop in over at, uh, you know, Bruce or somewhere in a little pub and have a beer. But, you know, on the way here, we got a couple of ice cream shops. We got more than ice cream, and... Uh, We've also got King's Palace, and they're a Chinese food place, both of them, but they serve the uh, nice, you know, black licorice or whatever. You can get any flavor you want, right? And uh, then we got DQ for soft cone or McDonald's. But, you know, we got Origin Malt if you want to have a nice uh, micro brew brewery and, uh, like, have a craft beer. And we've got a, a few coffee shops so you can get a latte and relax. There's outdoor patios. We have three major little lakes right in the town, the Kinsman Park being one of them, and then the golf course community area has another big uh, Elmer uh, Gray pond there. So it's good. Um, probably one of the things I like the most about our town is we have the Ag Society, and in that, I'll tell you about that. Let me tell you about that right now, whoever you are here. 
we have a professional stampede in the pro circuit bull riding bronc riding all of it steer wrestling chuck wagon races the whole shebang like people come into calgary the greatest show on earth the calgary stampede we have the same circuit of riders and chuck drivers and all of them they're just here a couple weeks later you know after it ends in calgary so uh it's a pro rodeo on a smaller scale if you got a young family it's very accommodating to come here uh, if you're not really willing to fight the bigger crowds of downtown calgary you know because uh you're pushing probably twenty thousand people on a daily gate at uh, calgary or higher up to even twenty eight thousand, and uh you know I, I I don't know what a daily gate would be here, probably 1,500 to 3,000 maybe. But, uh, and it's a party thing too. Like if you like to rev it up and go out with the boys and the gals, uh, we have a grandstand and there's some cabarets and then there's a few businesses in town that kind of like the station house and whatnot. And get it in Origin Malt and different places, get into the flavor of dress in your West look and get out and have some fun and there's bands and stuff so you know that's one of my things i like about this and then the running of the bulls has been more common in the last couple of years i didn't know much about that at first but uh, it's kind of unique here if you want to try that adventure i go out in the wildlife and camp and there's bears and stuff but i'm the bear whisperer right so i never thought much about jumping in the ring with a bull till in the last couple of years but whatever we'll get over that i guess We'll figure it out one step at a time here. Another good thing, a highlight here, the town is actually building a new uh, city office, a town hall administration building, and it looks quite accommodating to our future. I'd actually like to point in the direction of a couple of high rises here in our equity developments down the road at some point, probably in the further end of our 30 year plan at CCI Group because the economy now and Calgary's got so much robust space available for commercial rent, I can't see that it would be economical in the today now, but our earth is growing towards 9 billion people by 2040. That's another 2 billion people. That's another whole accommodation of people needing jobs, businesses to be planted in places, and that's only 20 years in the future. So likely towards the uh, later time of our 30 year plan, I'm going to be a quick looking at uh, that possibility and the attraction would be even with these executive style homes is getting some head office companies to locate their businesses right here in Strathmore you know where we say the quality of life is a way of life here in our community in Strathmore town and uh, you know you'd get businesses locating in a good facility a couple of high rises that can accommodate managing their Western Canada, Canada, North America, or global operations from here, and it would be very good. So, uh, you know, that's the future, and it would cut down on people's commutes. It's a lot of people commute here, and that, uh, I mean, I'll tell you something, when you're driving every day, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to work, that is a real commitment, and it's a grind, boy, and if you can just, you know, drive across you know 10 blocks across town and still live in a reasonably priced community and have good uh you know living and you know there's just good things here sports and rec and uh probably some things i'd like to change i'd like to see uh two of the three lakes open up to kayaking as well as the canals there's a canal system you know you can beautifully get out and have a light paddle right in town without driving away you know to the mountains or uh, bull river or something you just you know up in the canal and paddle i'd like to see that happen and i'd even want to see and look at putting a beach in on the east side of kinsman park lake the pond you know uh, let young families go and you know there's the odd guy down there dipping the rod in trying to catch a little fish but let them go down and relax on the beach as well so that'd be one goal and uh you know, there's just some simple things like I'd like to see a traffic light put up on uh, Wheatland Trail by uh, when you come off of the main drag off of downtown just past Bubbles Laundromat towards Westmount School there. It's a bit of a tricky corner because people are looking towards the school, all the activity and as well as the gas stations and uh, 
you know, and it's just a tricky corner. I think we need a set of lights there. It's split because people are coming out of West Mount. It's not exactly lined up. And there's a lot going on at that corner. I think a set of lights would do as well for whatever cost that might be, not much. And then, you know, I'd look at simple things like, why not fix all our potholes on our roads? I've almost lost my car a couple times. Instead of building sidewalks over in the new in industrial area, you know, where the storage units are, where nobody is really walking much anyhow, right? You know, that would just make sense. I think people need good roads to drive on. And, uh, you know, you might have like four or five guests over there walking from, uh, you know, the Target Fitness or Humpties over to, you know, the sto the cement plant or uh, Murray Dodge or something. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. But, I mean, like, man, we got some bad potholes. I think they need to be fixed. And even just a proposal to some of you businesses where it's your own private parking lot, if business has been low in this economy, and it has, um, I know some of you are still thriving, but uh, maybe if you don't have the money, at least if you can afford some gravel, level them off in your parking lot, you know, until you get the money to put actual asphalt in. If, if you can do it, I would suggest that. We try to drive slow. In some of the back alleys, it's not a concern. You don't want to be cruising too fast down the back alleys anyhow, because... Uh, it gets carried away when it, there's like perfect pavement in your back alley. <laughs> I'm not saying that because you know, there's little kids and you, it's good to go slow in the back alleys anyhow. So that'd be kind of some of the things I do. And uh, maybe, you know, as the town continues to grow, and we're at about 14,000 right now, people roughly, probably, you know, within 10 years, probably double that, I'm sure. You know, we could probably use like an east side complex uh, like we got on the east, we could probably use it on the west, hey? Because I would think when people are coming home from their commute, you know, they might want to pick something up at a simple convenience store, um, you know, on a smaller scale than our big box system we got over there with uh, Sobeys and Walmart and all that on the east side. It's uh, lots of people shop there, and it's very regional, as I was saying. And I hear in the future... I was talking with one of the town councilors here not too long ago, had a coffee meeting at A&W, and uh, anyhow, what we were talking about, I guess, we're just looking at opportunities in the future here in the town and stuff, and uh, he was telling me that uh, there's federal money coming at some point, there's a plan and provision for, uh, it's talked about, it's slated, it's not like right away, but uh, there's talk down the road here for... Uh, a highway bypass as an option so as you're coming in from the east of town you can either fork through the town uh you know fork right if you're going to come into town and stay the night and park your truck at the truck stop or whatever or if you need to just keep motoring you don't have to slow down uh, through our town and i think that's good there's a lot of common sense in that i think because uh, your community proposes to continue to sustain itself by being a quiet little community and uh you know and we got schools and stuff it would just less traffic uh that doesn't need to come right through town the kids walking over to mcdonald's and restaurants over there to grab a you know whatever pop or a coffee or a, like a slurpee thing at tim hortons uh what do you call those things that's i didn't grow up in that area i forget the coffee slurpee anyways whatever um geez Anyways, uh, you know, it just would make it safer for that back and forth. And the businesses, I mean, I'll bet you if you look at studies, businesses don't lose miss out because most of our business traffic in town is coming region, regionally anyhow. It's not highway traffic so much. I mean, if, if they know they can fork and they're not stopping anyhow, if they're going to stop here, they're going to stop. And the, the restaurants and bars and uh, hotels kind of attribute this success to that portion of the economy. So I would think if they're forewarned properly with all the right billboards and stuff, they would just know that, uh, you know, they could pull into town and stay the night and everything would be fine. So we're looking at doing this and, uh, 
probably not too far down in the future. I'm not going to propose an exact time frame because, uh, as I was saying, this next three years on my timeline is about uh, getting my 14 companies all up and running and staffed properly as my final steps of my uh, funding comes in here in the next six weeks. And uh, we're right at mid-May now, so that's uh, putting us to the end of June. So hopefully that's all accommodated for and uh, is successful and has brought success by then. And uh, then secondly, just uh, continue to work on developing the last half of our uh, benchmarking computer system that uh, I kind of got stalled out on, you know, in uh, year one as uh, some of our you know, funding didn't come through the way it was. So we'll finish that off in this next three years. We're in year four of year four to six. And uh, then, of course, just structuring for Ruby and Winston to arrive in year six to nine because uh, right around the ninth year is probably when uh, Ruby will be out of high school and Winston's not far behind her and never has been. So I'm planning for that. So that's good. And uh, yeah, come on out to Strathmore. It's a good place. You and your family will do well by living here. Um, you know, there's the King Eddie Pub to go out and do karaoke and have a few beers with the boys and girls when you're out having some fun. And a few other places you've seen on my timeline common to the places I like to enjoy going. All kinds of walking paths. And, uh, you know, we see the odd movie star going through here too. And I've always stayed and, you know, had tabs on the celebrities and rock stars through my life. I've enjoyed that and like that kind of scenario. And, uh, I've met a few people in my life. I've met Wayne Gretzky in North Battleford, Saskatchewan. I met Paul Henderson in Winnipeg. And uh, I met Gordie Howe somewhere. I think it was Saskatoon. And those are some of the greats, eh, of hockey. The high scoring guys, like the top favor, right? And Russia, Canada series, Wayne Gretzky, you know, his whole thing and uh, what he has simulated through his life, Edmonton and LA and all that. And, and the marrying Janet. Jones, the movie, the model, <laughs> you know, that was pretty kind of neat. And then, well, Gordy Howe, that's a tribute to like hockey way back. And his, he played, he's one of the only guys that played with his two sons actually in the NHL. So that was kind of cool. And that was before the guys really made much money at all. It was just totally for the love of the sport. And hopefully it is now. But uh, so there's that. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with swimming in these little ponds and lakes, uh, people think. And I would even guess and want to venture to guess that uh, why not let boating and skiing and swimming happen in Eagle Lake just outside of town, work with the county to figure that out. Because, uh, you know, we used to, I told you about how we learned how to ski uh, behind a little fishing boat. We, we didn't have much money when I was young. And... Uh, it was at Springwater Lake, right by Landis, and it was this little alkaline, sloughy kind of lake in a ravine. It, people from the area had fun, they'd go out, they'd have hot dog roasts and pops and beers and stuff, and we'd spend the day on the water, hot summer days, you weren't, couldn't get away for the weekend, so you went there, and like to go anywhere. And you know, you'd, it was alkaline a little bit, not bad, so you'd just shower when you get home. Of course, for the tree huggers and bunny lovers, the cows like that natural salt lick, hey? so it's natural, it's healthy. But we did that, and uh, Strathmore is a bit of a town, like, uh, it's like, you know when you go fishing on a lake, and you go down to the corner of the lake, and it's not much different from where your cottage is, it's the same depth, but it's just a little ways away from where you are. And it's got the same like kind of reeds and stuff and you go catch a few little fish that aren't all that big <laughs> But you enjoy the day and you needed some peace and quiet It's a lot like that here in Strathmore So yeah, there might be other good places to live around the world, but it's pretty good here We're in a bubble in a lot of ways and we have only had two COVID cases uh, In the two and a half months or more since it's hit and they both got cured that's in our Wheatland County. That's not even just in the town. So we'll go from there. I think you know, people are living healthy here and do, trying to do things the right way and obey these criteria that uh, the law 
and the medical system they're putting upon us uh, to live healthy and last and go the long run in these new economic and environmental times we live in. So go from there. On the movie star side, uh, in the area, I'm sure I've seen Jack uh, Nicholson of the, the fame of uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and The Witches of Eastwick or whatever, some of those movies. And uh, I liked him the best though in the one he did with Morgan Freeman there, The Bucket List. <laughs> that was awesome. I've also seen, I believe, Tom Cruise in the area here at the Petrocon gas station. And remember, people come in, they go out to Tyrell, they've been in Banff, they spent the night in Calgary. This is a famous spot. Banff is one of the seventh wonders of the world when you stack up the top ten. So you know the kind of people that come here, and they're, they're not going to announce it. You know, they're just going to come. I've, I'm positive I've seen Kevin Bacon in uh, Starbucks here one time in and out for a latte just quick like his normal style and fashion I'm pretty sure I saw P Diddy and his family uh, in no frills and then there's a couple other guys too uh, well you two Bono he's been spotted out here by people other than me you know traveling from one concert to another hitchhiking and stuff and because he does that kind of strange eccentric stuff right when you're global superstar and you want to get around you know <laughs> take the least convenient accommodation i guess i don't know anyways uh you never know who might pop up here next it's kind of cool and uh i'm just wondering like what mackenzie bezos is doing with that 40 billion dollars she got from their divorce settle i'm dating by the way now it's been 10 years and i'm looking at dating i'm opening myself up to date so uh any uh, any gal out there that's the right one for me, I guess. I guess maybe you got to be open first to meet them and find them. But we'll close with that. Enough talk and chitter-chatter. This is Connections Consulting on, uh, not Global Magnet, but I guess maybe we are. I'm not sure. I'm just a guy. I'm Bernie May. You know, got a couple pairs of jeans and a good shirt and go from there. And, you know, head off into the horizon and sunset with your plan and make it happen. All right.